In today's video, we're going to do a test to see how good is an $8 robot vacuum. Guys, I don't know if you have ever dived into the weirdness that is cheap stuff you can buy from China and have shipped to you really quickly. Uh, I was using the website wish.com, which has so much of that stuff, and it suggested what looked like a Roomba, except that it said it cost $8 instead of like the hundreds of dollars that a real Roomba costs. And so I was so curious that I bought five of them. Here's the basic idea. An online retailer sells robotic cleaning tools for $8 each. We bought five of them and we want to see how well they clean. Can they stand up to a more powerful robotic vacuum or will they replace all our cleaning needs? Callie's just gonna start turning them on all over the place. Oh, that one. They might be a little suicidal. There we go. They're not powerful enough to get off of our desk. At least not on their own. If another one hit this one, it might make it off. My children. Let's take a look at how they work. First off, taking out of the box, <laughs> yeah. you pick this up and you're like, wait, did they forget all of the internal parts? Because it's super lightweight. Where's our scale? I'm going to get the scale. It's so light. It's mostly empty. So this right here is our cleaning pad. So here's how it works. Batteries, which do come included. They are rechargeable batteries. They go in here. There's three of them. And then you've got these two little motors and this is what drives it. It drives and it's designed to like go in a little bit of a circle. How much do you think this weighs in ounces? 16. 10. 10, it's less than a pound. There Not you go. Not even 10 and a half. 0. 0. 0.65 pounds. <laughs> and that's with the batteries in it. But we put rechargeable batteries let's, in these. Let's open this one up, see how much it weighs without the batteries, and you see why I was really like, oh my goodness, they <laughs> forgot the insides. We also have on our table our still not Roomba brand, but other robot vacuums, and these actually do have some suction and brushes that spin to get all of the dirt gathered. And it has a suction, like I said. Also, I opened this up and I was like, oh, okay, this is actually like maybe a decent like dry mop pad. And I went to put it on and Nate said, no, no, that's 20. They're thin. They're like dryer sheet thin, almost. You're gonna open that one up and see what's yeah. inside. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a single motor and maybe a small circuit board, and that's gonna be it. These larger, more powerful ones were actually also sent to us by a company who wanted us to review them, and we talked about them in our video showing some things that people had sent to us. We didn't just drive them around on the carpet, we actually decided to have them battle as well. Ooh, ooh, they've already run into each other. Neither one is giving ground. They're just driving against each other. They have panels on the front that tells them if they hit a wall, but because of the knives, they're not hitting the panels. They're just pushing against each other. Well, Jarvis is definitely not winning this battle. <laughs> I think we have to separate them. Oh, 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 so close. <gasps> yeah! One balloon down. I think the, uh, oh! Man, Friday is kicking butt. Okay, dumb robots don't know they hit walls. Oh, coming for our cameraman. Ah! Haha! <laughs> -ha. Oh no, the balloon is too high! Ah ha ha ha! Oh my gosh, Friday is so much faster. Oh, almost got that last balloon. Oh, it's free! I don't know the rules. Ah! Friday wins. Friday just hunted Jarvis down. Well, I think that's a pretty good use for robot vacuums. Okay, <laughs> there's our shell. There's nothing in it. There's a little, okay, so that means everything's on this side. So turn it over and uh, okay, there's all of our stuff. We have this size motor. This is our power button mm -hmm. on off and that's it. I mean, there could be something in here, but like there's literally not even a circuit board. It doesn't even have programming. Would you it's still call this a robot? Very clever robot, yes. Very clever in its design in that you don't need programming. This is it. This is the entire machine and it's, 
Okay. Somehow now it's able to commit suicide. There may be a circuit board in it, but it would just be inside the plastic housing with the motor and I can't see it. It's in the computer? In, the files are in the computer. It's so simple. So it comes with these little sticky Velcro pieces that you attach onto the bottom and that's how you attach the cleaning pad. The wheels that are driving it are just on a slightly off-centered axis so that if something gets in the way, they just turn and it starts driving it a different direction. And I believe that the two wheels are actually just slightly different sizes so that if it's left on a big open area, it just goes in a gentle circle. Oh, I think I, uh, yep, yep. Yep, see, it, it kills itself. It can suck up the possibly <laughs> caught in yet to be determined padding. So if you look at this stuff all packed together before you peel apart these tissue thin little sheets that are supposed to go on your vacuum, it almost looks like insulation. We very much hope it's not. Insulation is like spun glass. You don't want to just handle it. Uh, Nate is thinking it's probably a low quality cotton. I agree, but I really don't think we need to pull out the blowtorch for anything coming from these little guys. Nothing's going to survive like this. <laughs> oh, it melts. Not polyester. Oh, oh no, oh, oh. Cotton will just light on fire yeah. and burn. This so is, um... this is probably polyester or acrylic. I think we need to do a cleaning test. We've got five of these, four and a half, four and three quarters of these. There you go. Um, and I want to see how well they actually clean. So I propose we get the workbench mm -hmm. very lightly dirty because clearly not going to pick up a lot of stuff. But is this going to be our something. arena? Yeah, I think okay. it should just all happen right here on the desk. Okay. Sprinkle some powder all over it, cover it with that, and see how well these clean. All right, so we have the mystery crew. Yeah, we've got Velma, Wilma, Shaggy, Fred, and Scooby-Doo. The mystery van is dirty, and so they need to clean it. We're going to see how good of a job they can do. Ready? Your mark, get set, go. go. We also have to keep them from falling off, probably. Yeah, that's... Come on, Scoob! <laughs> I think they're making it worse. Certainly not all cleaned up. This looks like a chalkboard that several toddlers got to. Some of the dust has been picked up. We'll have to look at the bottoms to compare later. They have done a wonderful job of smearing some cornstarch around. Let's take a look at this. There's not even that much on here. The one that's doing the best is the one that we broke, Scoob. Actually, Shaggy and Scoop kind of cleaned house. I want to do a test. I want to take Jarvis, our slightly better robot vacuum, put him on and see if he's any better. All right. <laughs> it's alive. Well. I don't think anything really wants to clean cornstarch. It's cord spreading. <laughs> to be fair, this is designed as a carpet vacuum more than a hard floor vacuum. Okay, that though, that is a lot less cornstarch than there was when it just passed over. It's true. It's not clean, but it's less. I've added some water to the cleaning pad oh, to good. see if there's any change. Look at this path that Jarvis just made though. It's a path, that's significant. Aha, a sort of clean circle-ish. Velma's gonna kill, oh, fight, fight, fight. Is Jarvis taking out his competition? <laughs> yes. Go Jarvis, go. You can do it. I feel like Jarvis has cleaned more than all five of the mystery team by himself. <laughs> go figure, the $8 vacuum is not the most powerful. It's not a vacuum. That's true, the $8 cleaner. Dry mop. Dry mop is not as good as the, the one that actually has programming and brushes Talks instead of just you. one pad. Adding water to the pad maybe made it clean a tiny bit better. I think to really work, it's kind of based on like some static electricity. 
creating buildup to like pull dust off the ground. It's way too and complicated. I actually ran one of these at my house on a big hardwood floor area for about 20 minutes and it did gather some dust. So it was obviously no longer on the floor and it moved to the pad so it did something. Now it's time for the real test. I don't know of any vacuum that's ever had to prove itself this way, but let's see. Never have I felt so at home. No, oh, Shaggy, you're going the wrong. Oh no, oh no, scoop stuck. Scoop stuck. <laughs> Wilma's a flame. Oh, Scooby-Doo is actually on fire. I think we killed Scooby too. Scooby's still running? Scooby, go! Scooby's wires no. were on fire. Now no. the rest of Scooby's on fire. Okay, Fred's about to arrive through the fire. <laughs> oh, good. Come on, Scoob. What's the best way to put Scooby out at this point? <laughs> Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for the most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.